Welcome to other edition to the Assassin's Sports Show and much more guys. Thank you for love, appreciation. You bring each and every day. Y'all the face around the place. Guys, so thank you so much for your shares, your likes, for the comments, for the subscribers, guys. Everything you bring to the table, guys. Thank you so much, guys. It means everything to me. We are growing the show bigger and better each and every day. Guys, if you're passing by YouTube, if you're tired of the same YouTube channel, or your voice is not being heard, listen, this channel is for you. Because this channel, I built it for the fans 24-7. That's what I built it for, guys. And then hit that subscribe button. Become an assassin because we're taking over YouTube. That's how I said it. We are taking over. Assassins takes over stuff, man. And we are taking over. So if you don't believe it, you just spent two months I've been doing this. And we and we are just growing each and every day. Bigger and better, baby. So... So guys, thank you so much for everything. To all my assassins, new, my originals, guys, thank you so much, guys. It means everything to me, who got stuck by me. And I, this, like I say, is a hobby of mine and I'm loving it each and every day. So thank you guys for everything, guys. So guys, let's get down to the show, right? Um, I'm gonna talk about the depth chart, guys, okay? I don't do depth charts, but a fan, a couple of y'all yeah, been asking me the depth chart. So, and yeah, we're like, Assassin, come on, man. What's your depth chart? So, I'm going to give it to you. Um, the depth chart for the Dolphins came out. Um, you can't take this to heart, guys, okay? And that's what I want to say. Because th th in football, this depth chart could change week by week, three days from now. It's just how it is, guys. So, you can't take this to heart. The only thing, the offensive of line, you know it's not going to change. That's the only thing will not change. It's because it's locked in. So, let's go by the depth chart. So, you know the starting quarterback is Ryan Fitzpatrick. Two is the second string. And it's no third string. We figure that. Move on. Jonah Howard is your starting one running back. Matt Breda is your second running back. And then the third running back they have is... Um, Mile Gaskin, and then Patrick Allaire is your fourth string running back. Like I said, it's you gotta take it. Not a listen. Gaskins and Allaire, Patrick Allaire, they might not see the field at all. But again, like Jordan Howard and Matt Breda, Matt Breda could start. Uh, that's what I say. You can't take this too hard, all the way too hard, guys, because it could change week by week. You know. This is just, I bet you they do something out there. Your starting wide receiver is Deronta Parker, Presser Wilson, and you and your green current. Um, your second string is Ford, Mike Holmes, um, Broden Jr. And that's 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 your second string. Your tight end, here, here's the big issue with the tight end. Um Mike Gesicki is not starting. Okay, Mike, Mike Gesicki is not starting, guys. But um, it's not a big deal. It's like, it's interchangeable. It's like a running back. They could interchange. You know he's going to get touches. You know he's going to be the biggest contributor in the team. The other guy, uh, listen, Smite it's, 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 not going to do much. He's just a blocker tight end. He go, he's, you know, he's a good blocker. So it's... Again, don't take it personally. And other than that, it's what it is right now. So, like I said, Tanya, listen, Michael Six is gonna be there. I'm gonna say he's gonna start 90% of the time or 80% of the time he's gonna be in that lineup. That's the big deal. You know, he's gonna do that. So your left tackle is Austin Jackson. We knew that you dropped him in the first round. He, sh he has to start. And no, but he has to be offered. And then his backup, Julian Davenport. I wish Davenport was the right tackle, to be honest with you. But I'm going to say why. So, left guard, Eric Fryer has to start. Eric Fryer has to start. You pay him all that money. He has to. Then, um, our center, Clint, Ted Klinschler. Sorry about the pronunciation, guys. That, and then Michael Dieter is, is his... Um, um, back up. Then you got McKinley and, and right tackle. And then you got the rookie as Robert Hunt is the backup. And then right tackle is 
Jesse Davis, Robert Hunt is his backup. So there you go, guys. That's that's your offense. Not a big deal. Like everybody was going crazy and 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 saying, "Oh, Kaseki, don't worry about Kaseki. Kaseki is gonna be fine. It's no big deal." Not not the big deal is it's the offense line. You know that's gonna be. You know that offense line is not gonna change. It has to be an injury before it changes. So that's it. So. Um, let's go by the defense. And I'm going to tell you, our defense is a hybrid. So we could go a 3-4, a 4-3, and then it, it just could have screwed everything up. So I'm just telling you, defense, you cannot take anything how it's going. So here we go. Chris Wilkins is the left pass rusher. Gasha is the nose tackle. Okay, no, no shot, no, no big deal. Uh, Wakan Davis is gonna be his backup. Oh, I see that. I wish they would put Wilkins and Davis together in that middle, beef up that middle. I think you you will cause havoc. But again, that's the lineup. The right um, it will go out of the way. It's gonna be the right um, the white pat pass rusher. So here we go. Our linebackers could be Roberts, Robertson, then Baker, then Vinoy, then then your corners is X. A safety is is gonna be Edward Rowe, free safety by McCain. Our right um corner is um Jones. And I'm gonna tell you this. Noah is gonna start, but he's gonna be the nickel package guy. Why I say that? He's, he's gonna be the nickel package guy. So he is gonna start. So don't worry guys, don't get frustrated. That's 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 the depth chart guys. I'm not gonna go special teams because let's be real, nobody pay attention to the special team only when they screw up. But that's that's your standing lineup, okay? Uh, again guys, I'm, I'm sorry about the pronunciation. If I mess up, I apologize. But that's your standing depth chart, okay? Um, like I said, don't read too much into it it's interchangeable um n nothing really shocking on the defense like i said i i wish because davis been having a great camp but again davis gonna spread time with gotcha so they're gonna be interchangeable. but i put beef in there and, and really i will i would like for them to play a 4-3 i think they got a good belt for a 4-3 but again but they, you got good linebackers. So again, it's not a big deal. They got three linebackers this time. But if they play a 4-3, they got two linebackers. So it's interchangeable. So it's not a big deal. Um, so this game, they could be a 3-4. 3-4. Next game could be a 4-3. I mean, in the half, they could correct it. Go back to a 4-3. You know, it's just, that's why I say this this lineup. That, I don't like doing depth charts. Because it's not a big deal to me. Some fans like it, and I get it. I get it because you want to see how the team is on paper. But again, I want to see Perry get in there. I want to see Michael Perry get in there. I, I think that kid is just awesome. I told you I like that kid coming out. I told you, well, I'm not, I didn't do draft, but I love Michael Perry. I wanted him. I was doing draft simulation. I was always picking him. And in Berlin, I was always picking him too. I, I did Miami. To be honest with you, I think Miami did the, a great draft, draft, great draft. And then you got um, Bo Boren Jr. for nothing. And it's just, now you got two interchangeables. It's just, he's gonna play mostly slot. It's gonna be amazing each and every day. It's To see this these guys grow, it's gonna be something special because I think Michael Perry is special. Bo Jr. is gonna be special. Um, I think so. I mean, I might be wrong, but I think those guys, you can't find enough of those guys. Uh, like I said, don't be surprised if Green Grant gets traded, get traded if those guys produces. So, so thank you. I think that, that don't be surprised. And I love I me. Mean, I love your Green Grant. I think that dude has done an excellent job, but I think um, they do this for a reason. Like I always say, this coach is that always does some stuff for a reason, and he and Jacquin Grant always been. It's getting hurt now, so 
So it's, maybe they trade him and get something for him because you never know. Um, what else? What else can I say? I'm just down on. I never liked the pick of Robert Hunt. I'm not saying he's a bad player. I just, we needed other needs. And that's the pick that I just scratched my head on. And I didn't even have him. I had him in the fourth round. And when we got him earlier than that, and that made me a team like them and was good. Let's say I get it. But I, I think that was a reach. I think, and, 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 and now you see why it's a reach because he came in and beat out J.C. Davis, who is not a right tackle. J.C. Davis is a guard, and you can't even beat him out. That's my opinion. That's why I see. Nobody's going to tell you that. No beat writer's going to tell you that. Nothing. What I see, I see, and I, I'll be real with y'all. So you know that. So, guys, that's my opinion of the depth chart. Tell me what you think. Um, thank you guys for being with me each and every day. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for everything, guys. I mean, we've been glowing this show crazy, and I mean, just like I said, this is a hobby for me. I do work, and it's just when I come from work, I can't wait to do this. I can't wait to talk to y'all each and every day because this is like this is like um, my stress relief, believe it or not. And it's just amazing with y'all, and your comments are just awesome. Each, each comment that you bring is just amazing. So to me, it's just, that's why I do this and, and I keep on building this brand. So thank you guys, I'm out. Watch a little heat and then I'll be back and talk about the heat and Marlins. Come on, Marlins and heat, baby. Let's get that W, get that dub. So guys, I'm out. See you later, guys.